Neymar to Puma. By now I'm sure you've all heard the big news. But in this episode, we're not talking about endorsement deals. Instead, we're diving into the Brazilian as a player to gather three things every player should learn from Neymar Jr. Because no matter how you might feel about him, Neymar is up there amongst the most skillful and talented players in the modern game. So let's kick it off. Number 1 change of pace. Okay, let's start with the obvious. Neymar is one of the best one-on-one -on -one players in the world. He's an absolute machine in taking on players and getting past them, oftentimes beating multiple defenders in one go. Now, it would be easy to just say, yeah, he's very skillful, fast and creative. But you're not gonna learn much from that. Instead, what you should take away from watching Neymar fly past defenders is his change of pace. Not always, but oftentimes, when facing an opponent, Neymar will first slow down his speed, which simultaneously slows down the speed of the defender in front of him. And then, BAM! All of a sudden, he either just dinks the ball forward a few meters, whips out a step over combo or a body feint, and explodes to full speed. And the key here is not just taking on players only using one gear. Otherwise, you're also letting the defender to be at his maximum speed at all times. The smarter way, even if you're not as fast as Neymar, is to first slow down your pace as you're approaching the opponent, and then going from 0 to 100 with the mindset of trying to catch the defender off guard. Remember, most of the times the defender has his side or back towards the running direction, so it will take more effort from him to all of a sudden turn around and start speeding up. So next time you're at the training ground, try utilizing the simple concept of change of pace. Again, I repeat, even if you're not a fast player, this is a technique you can use to beat defenders and is one of the tools Neymar constantly utilizes when taking on defenders. Yes, he's got the skills and technique to do many incredible things, but the change of pace is something we can all strive to learn from him. Number 2 playmaking ability. Neymar is a deadly goal scorer and a threat to every defense in the world, but his playmaking ability often goes under the radar. The further his career has gone, the more Neymar has also started to create chances and provide key assists for his teammates. And you might be asking yourself, what can I learn from this? Should I just create chances? I know, as with anything, it's easier said than done. But as a winger, or whatever Neymar's pretty much free role could be described as, you should understand that besides just scoring goals, you will be a much more valuable player if you're also able to create play and hit those key passes in the final third. Now, similar to Messi, Neymar is also a player who draws defenders close to him whenever he has the ball, oftentimes more than just one defender. And this means there's extra space somewhere else on the pitch. Now, Neymar is finally starting to prosper in finding those empty areas. And since 2013, no player has recorded more Champions League assists than Neymar. No one. So what does this really mean for you? Well, if you're a player who likes to hold on to the ball like Neymar, understand that by drawing defenders close to you, some other areas are being left empty. And if you can penetrate those pockets with accurate passes, you will be that much more valuable for your team. So while holding on to the ball and taking on defenders, lift your head up, be aware of the runs your teammates are making and start challenging yourself to provide those through balls that split defenses, just like Neymar. And lastly, number 3. Unbreakable mentality. Let me explain. Whether you love him or hate him, I think we can all agree Neymar has been through a lot. Not only is he the number one target for every defender and takes a proper beating every time he steps on the pitch, but Neymar has also experienced a lot of major disappointments in front of the entire world. Look, he's not perfect and some of his antics on the pitch are not what we want to see. But Neymar has proven time and time again that he's not afraid to silence the haters. Honestly, by just being himself. We all remember the tragic injury at the 2014 World Cup that crushed his dream of winning a World Cup at home in Brazil. And most people would totally crumble from the pressure and scrutiny this guy has to face every single day. But Neymar doesn't slow down. He's still doing ridiculous stepovers and rainbow flicks. He will still fight until the last minute of every game. And if a player whose every step both on and off the pitch are being watched, commented and criticized by the entire world on a daily basis can still keep his head high and continue doing things his way, well, 
you have no excuses either. So no matter what the world throws at you, no matter how much people try to crush your dreams and tell you that you've completely lost it, no matter how many times people try to write you off because of silly mistakes or impulsive actions on the pitch, it's never over until you yourself stop believing in what you're doing. Being Neymar is probably not easy, but he's doing things his own way and won't let anyone break his spirit. And that's it for the three things we believe you should learn from Neymar Jr. Obviously, there are a bunch of actual Neymar skill moves you can also practice and develop. And you can check out one of the two videos on your screen next. And before you leave, comment below and tell us what's the most unexpected thing you've learned from watching Neymar play. And with those final thoughts, I'm out.